It's been a busy week in politics, not least for the word autoclaved. Our jargon, vocab and new terms correspondent, Jonathan Goodenough, has more. Yes, that's right. Not since coronavirus was thrust into the spotlight in early 2020 has a sciencey sounding word been used by so many people who have literally no idea what it means. So what does it mean? It means something's been steam cleaned to remove all bacteria, but most importantly, it's the first A in the acronym RAC. That's the bubbly concrete which has caused so much concern this week. Yes, and one thing's for certain, if words had agents, then autoclaves would be asking for a pay rise. Do words have agents? No. Then why did you say that? Um... Don't be whimsical. Sorry. Can you tell us about some other words which have suddenly become famous over the years? Well, yes, another good example would be the word prorogation, a hitherto obscure parliamentary term which went big in 2019 when Boris Johnson tried to force through his Brexit deal and Jacob Rees-Mogg lied to the late Queen. Wow. Then we have Scandinavian words like hugger, which used to be ubiquitous just a few years ago, but the usage of which in this country would now mark you out as an irredeemable prick. But not in Denmark. Or Sweden or Norway, wherever it's from. It's from Denmark. You're right, nobody can be sure. But staying in politics, words like insurrection have unexpectedly come back into vogue, whereas words like bipartisan now seem completely dead. I suppose vogue is another dead one, if you're talking about the dance move. Well, let's not get into dance moves, otherwise we'll have to talk about the Macarena and the twist and the Harlem shake, and nobody wants that. Unless you're at a wedding when all bets are off. Do you expect autoclaved to live long in the memory? Doubtful. My guess is that everybody will have forgotten about it soon until it crops up as part of an answer in an end of year quiz. Right. But the Labour Party will be hoping that it's done enough damage to the government already for another word to move from world news to politics. And what word's that? Landslide. Thank you, Jonathan. Next up, as the UK rejoins the EU's Horizon Science programme after two years of wrangling, we ask, when was the last time you stormed out of a club in a huff, then were allowed back in as long as you agreed to do exactly what they told you this time? 